Tonight, an El Paso County deputy is on leave after crashing into a man in a wheelchair, killing him. The state patrol is investigating the deadly crash. KRDO News Channel 13's Annabelle Childers is live where it happened, and Annabelle looks like those emergency vehicles have finally moved out of the area. Yeah, Bart, Heather, you can see the scene is now clear, but what's left are these spray painted X's, which show where the deputy's SUV came to a stop right after hitting the man in the wheelchair. At approximately 6.39 a.m. this morning. Colorado State Patrol says a 48-year-old deputy was driving down East Las Vegas Street. Seconds later, the driver of this 2020 Chevy Tahoe hit a man slowly moving in the same direction. The Chevy struck the rear of the wheelchair, ejecting the male occupant. Colorado State Patrol says the driver, a deputy with the El Paso County Sheriff's Office, came to an immediate stop. But after attempting to render aid, it became clear the man was dead. Multiple agencies arrived to the scene. Colorado Springs Police, Fire, paramedics, the El Paso County Sheriff's Office, and troopers are continuing to analyze what happened. No drugs, alcohol, or speeds are considered factors in this crash. The area of the crash was dark at the time with insufficient street or ambient light to illuminate the area. The male party was in dark clothing and did not have any reflective markings. Or lights. The wheelchair the man was in is now completely mangled. But as of now, Colorado State Patrol doesn't know who the victim is. Efforts to identify the male party and contact next of kin are still underway. The El Paso County Sheriff's Office says that deputy, Deputy Greg Stoneham, is now on administrative leave due to the department's policy. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Annabelle Childers, KRDO, News Channel 13. All right, Annabelle, thank you.